Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the D.C. Light Heavyweight Division, brought to you tonight by The Other Side, the official location for tonight's after party. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This striker wrestler stands 5'10", weighed in 192 pounds, heals an amateur record, one win, two defeats. Representing Bomb Squad and fighting out of Norfolk, Nebraska, Tanner Dickey. Tanner's bringing the crowd. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Twin J Red Corner. Is a wrestler, boxer, standing six foot tall, weighed in 196 pounds. Tonight, he's making his amateur debut. Representing Kearney Combat Sports and fighting out of Kearney, Nebraska, Caleb Kosumba. Man, Henry, my theme of tonight has been shorts, man. What do you call those things that uh, Tanner's wearing? Those aren't really tie shorts, are they? Uh, more pork shorts. Man, heavy hands from Tanner. That Caleb, uh, so Caleb comes out of a wrestling background with you and Kay. Man, here I started the fight off with some small talk, and it uh, gets real exciting real quick. Right? That's how it always happens, man. <laughs> so one thing about Tanner, uh, you look at his record, it, it's kind of <laughs> misleading. He's fought some tough amateurs, man. Wayne Sullivan's one of those fights. Went out there, fought him, fought in... Uh, Columbus, I'm trying to remember all, there were tough fights. It wasn't when they initially put him on the card. Caleb, oh, I thought Caleb was going to take him more to his corner. I think, uh, I think Tanner kind of realizing he was walking right to Caleb's corner. Good sit. That's one thing uh, you learn as a wrestler. Something ha happened to Tanner, or uh, Caleb. He looked in a lot of pain there for a second. So what is Caleb looking to accomplish here? It looks like there's just a lot of being, just being heavy on the back there. That's all right. If I'm him, he needs to hip up. There he goes. He hipped up more on the top. You know, I like the double unders when you're trying to get control. I think he's got the control. Let's go to a double over, though. He's got to go to an over under, I think, more to get the attack that he wants. That traditional seatbelt style look there, right? Yeah. Either that or maybe come up to mount. He could get a wrist control and come up to mount. Ooh, arm triangle. No. Now he's going. I like this a lot better. Man, I'll tell you what. This has been a rather unconventional fight so far. Yeah. Good recovery from Caleb after taking that first shot. Definitely ended up getting the round here. Good control. Oh, he is tired. Okay, back to my question about these shorts, Henry. I'll say this, if you crawl back to your corner and you're- <laughs> and you're- Oh, no, the round or two. We'll don't let that happen. <laughs> there you go. Hey, man, I've seen guys that they didn't know a thing about striking, and they wore Muay Thai shorts. So don't judge a book by his cover. Just just wear shorts that cover everything and aren't <laughs> going to fall apart or going to rip, okay? And, and don't have pockets. And don't look like a diaper. Yeah. Just... Oh, so back, by the way, to Tanner Tiki I talked about. So his two losses, Wayne Sullivan and Michael Duffy. That's two okay. tough fights. One and two in his career. So you know, Mike, uh, Michael Duffy is one of those guys that he man. shows a lot of uh, promise. He kind of a, a lot of promise, but 
But he kind of decided that he wanted to become a PE teacher, right? Yeah, he just kind of went a different route. His brothers were doing really good. His twin brothers did really well. But, yeah, very uh, – a lot of people don't remember Michael Duffy, but he was <laughs> – beat Eric Murray. He was like a two-weight class champion, I believe. His only loss was DJ – or was um, Jordan Young in okay. a uh, victory. I mean, he's a hell of a wrestler. Very good. Built like a tank, too. Tanner Dickey kind of reminds me of Nate Flanders from the old Victory <laughs> days. <laughs> a little Viking look to him. Man, I'll tell you what, though. Both of these guys look pretty small to be light heavyweights to me. Yeah. Actually, they ended up coming down, I think 193 was the weight class. Okay. So not not quite. But, yeah, both of them, man, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to, say, middleweights. I think in the long run, you're looking at uh, 70s. Man, we're seeing a little bit different fight this second round here. Well, to be fair, I think we saw that the first 10 seconds. Caleb's got to shoot. Yeah, he's going to be looking for a shot right now. Man, that was a nicely executed uh, takedown right there Great against job. the cage. Needed that, yep. Stop his knee, Caleb, with your left arm. Yeah, Caleb needs this pass right now. Minute 30, he could come back. Get this in the second half. I like the frame from Dickey. See if he can climb up. Get this up, Caleb. If he goes a big step with that right, I feel like he could pass. Don't settle for, don't settle for guard though. Good pin, can't quite see. There we go. You know, earlier we talked about um, Isaiah Robinson looking just looking a little bit too comfortable on his back. In that first credit, round of Tanner's his fight, Tanner's moving. Tanner's trying to get up. That's what I was gonna say. He got is that, somebody that heavy. Tanner's kind of doing the opposite. He's he's working from the bottom. Yeah, he's working hard to get up there. To be fair, though, with a with as good of a first half as he had, if he could keep fighting this, he could keep from get losing this round. I think Caleb to get this round, he's gonna have to get this pass. Man, oh, he can pass right there. Man, here we go. We're going to the third round now. Um, I think it's probably split 1-1. One, 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 I think. Yep. Um, I think it's pretty clear where everybody wants to be. So. Yeah. So, if you're Tanner, how do you stop the takedown? Stay in the center. Stay in the center. He was actually going to the body early. He saw him set that up. I was really surprised that Caleb didn't shoot earlier than he did, really. It was like he waited half the round just to go. You know, like he wanted to test his stand-up. I think right now, you've tested your stand-up. Shoot. Work the shot. Get the shot in. You know where you need to win this. It's third round. you got to get bring your A game. You know, and if you're Caleb, I mean, what are you going to do? You go out there, you, you faint high and go low and just try to get that take yeah, as quick as you my can? Bad. Caleb needs to shoot right away. He, you know, he waited half the round to do that. Right. If I'm Tanner, do what you did. Stay in the middle, though. It really worked body to head. He did that well, and then he kind of let himself get a go against angled against the cage. And then when you're on bottom, keep fighting, man. I feel like the activity that he kept to defend himself kept him from losing that second round. I so, think it saved him from losing the decision. Because he got about you had about half and a half. And Caleb not getting the pass and not getting as much ground and pound off, I feel like saved Tanner for winning that round. All right, well let's see how this fight ends up here. Once again, there's a light heavyweight fight between Tanner Dickey in the black and red shorts and 
We're just going to call him Caleb K in the black shorts. There you go, Henry. There's that early, there, there's there's that that early, early shot. Down. He's got to pull back, though. Here, Tanner not accepting the takedown. Bless him that we can crawl up. I don't Good like what, step I, over from Caleb. Good I gonna work. Say, I don't like what Tanner's doing. I want to see him turn his back to the cage and use that cage to get up. He might. Well, I feel like he might actually use it to kind of pry. He can use it to pry Caleb off at this point. And that might actually come back to bite Caleb. I feel like he needs to get that over under, and that's going to save him from losing this. So th this uh, Gable grip across the chest, like that's that a very traditional wrestling move there? Yeah. I feel like I use it. I prefer this for guys when they need to break somebody down, but once you have them broken down, you need to go to that over under. If you're looking to attack submissions, you need to get more of the seatbelt grip. I feel like you've seen Caleb control him more, but you, that's why you've also seen him struggle a bit when it comes to getting the rear naked. You got the takedown, that was great. Now let's go over under. Right. The other thing too is maybe, yeah, right here, flatten out and let's go to punches. He's got his wrist rolled under him, this is good. He could get this finish. What could Dan Tanner do at this point? Exactly yeah, what he's I'm doing. trying to pry those ankles. You kind of see, usually uh, Caleb's got his ankles touched together. I'm trying to get my knee to pry open to get that roll back over. Truthfully, by the time you got flattened out, you lost a lot of battles to get to that point. So if I'm here, man, you got a minute left. You definitely lost the first. You're going to have to sell out to get this set third round. You got a minute left. I don't know if he knows that, or if he quite realizes that. The other thing is he's up against the cage, so let's turn, let's use it maybe to roll. You got the heavier guy though, so with Caleb, I'd angle him. Angle his head into the mat, angle his head into the cage, and let's ride this out. Honestly, he fought a perfect third round if I'm Caleb. I feel Man, like he did great. I'd like to see Caleb get in the jiu-jitsu gym, get in the gi, and uh, figure out some more of that submission move because he's doing a lot of just wrestling out there. Yeah, you could definitely tell the, the jiu-jitsu transitions aren't quite there yet. But once he puts those together, it'll be a little bit more, it'll be solid. That being said, he did take on a real veteran at one and two, but those two came the hard way. Oh yeah. You know? Yep, Caleb, Caleb 2-1. Great fight for him. Man, I, I thought Tanner, after a long layoff, fought a great fight, just out wrestled. I, it was a good looking fight. I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'd like to see Caleb not wrestle, not not, not wrestle, but move into some more of the jiu-jitsu type of stuff where yeah. you're actually making some progress there and, and putting somebody in some danger. He would have, you definitely would have seen a much quicker fight. That rear um, naked would have been there. Tanner, Tanner needs to, to go to the gym and sit against the cage and work on getting up. <laughs> yeah, and keep in mind, Caleb wrestled for the University of Kearney here. Right. Great program. You're facing somebody that's really good at wrestling. Right. Okay? So, you know, it's not like he just lost to some bum in wrestling or somebody that was just a state medal, you know, state medalist. This kid's a talented wrestler. Not everybody can, you know, this dude's going to take down a lot of his opponents in the future. Right, absolutely. We see, we see it happen all the time with these wrestlers. We start looking at uh, Dylan Bartling and uh, Ron Coleman and some of these bigger guys that we've seen come up through here that are just so heavy in the hips and just can pretty much lay on somebody and yeah. have their will with them. Yeah, tell somebody to get up when you got, uh, especially once you get to middleweight and up, man. Uh, if they decide to settle their hips. Judges scorecards, and all three judges scored about 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Caleb Kosimba!